I'm Kent Mulgat with Colonna Now, joined by Sarah Morris, an MMA fighter. Hey. <laughs> I don't really think of men when I think of uh, MMA, but the women's side of the game seems to be growing quite a bit. Yeah, for the last uh, five years or so, I think there's been women in the UFC. I was on the first season of Tough, The Ultimate Fighter, with females in it. It was the 18th season. So, yeah, I've, I've been in it since almost the beginning with women in the UFC, right. and I've been training a hell of a lot longer than that. <laughs> Representing Kelowna and 14th in the world right now? Yes, yes, currently 14th. Now, um, you were fighting and there was a, a two years that you that, where you had to put it on hold. Yeah. Right? Now, first of all, why did that happen? Why, why the hiatus? Um, you know, like, I, we train hard at the gym I'm at, so with that comes injuries, comes, yeah, life, life happens. So I had a few injuries that uh, held me back. I had a fight lined up and I got injured, so I had to pull out of that fight, so... Yeah, but I've been at the gym pretty much every day, training every day, watching when I'm not able to train. I'm always there trying to learn, trying to get better. So right. I was I was really looking forward to it when I came back, and I'm looking forward to it, just keeping active now that I am back. So, yeah, after this two-year absence, you came back. That was in September? Yeah. You, you, you're against this American fighter, and I think the American was pretty heavily favored by yeah. most observers, and you get in there. Right away, she had you down, but you ended up winning that fight. Yeah. Uh, how did you pull that one out of the hat? Um, you know, uh, jiu-jitsu is one of my strengths. That's what I started with in MMA. I I trained at an MMA gym, but I I always loved the jiu-jitsu side of it. It's like playing chess, but with your body. So I, I feel really comfortable on the ground, and I knew that if I got her to the ground, or if she got me to the ground, I'd... I'd be able to uh, do what I do best and get the win. So. Right. And in the end, what do you call that move when you, you got her arm at a disadvantage? Yeah, we call it an arm bar. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't uh, do you turn want me, up. Do you want me to show I you? I do not want well, <laughs> Okay, like what is it? I mean, you say it's pressure against where the arm doesn't want to bend, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd probably be okay, like, like that. Okay, like stop. Tap. But, uh, but I'd be using my legs too, but the chairs are kind of in the way. Well, but that's yeah. generally what I'm doing to your arm. So she got her arm in the wrong place, and then you took advantage. Yeah. Well, even even when you put your arms in the right place, I know how to take advantage of that, too. So. Right. So that's kind of my game. Just how to get that arm, or whatever. Yeah. Well, like, the thing is, is that when you do jiu-jitsu, there's, there's places where you put your arms, and when you do MMA, you also want to hit people, so you put your arms in the wrong places a lot of the time, too. Right. So it... So because we're so trained with it that I see a lot more openings than the average person does with with that when you add in strikes, but I just, arm, arm bars are kind of my thing, so I, I find them wherever. Right. And so, yeah, the only fight I've seen was that one. How do you do at the, you know, standing and delivering blows sort of element mm -hmm. of the game? Yeah, um, you know, like I'm... I'm definitely getting better at it. I'm improving. I feel like I'm strong everywhere. I feel like I'm a full-rounded MMA fighter. I'm not just the jiu-jitsu fighter. So I feel very comfortable wherever it goes, although I did start with the jiu-jitsu side of it, so that that's where I'm great at, but I'm also really good everywhere else. So you're training for a February the 18th fight against Lucy Pudilova, a Czech fighter. Do you know anything about her? Do you, how do you feel about that going in? Um, you know, like, now, compared to when I started with uh, MMA, is, like, there's YouTube out now, and there's all these different ways that you can watch your opponent. You can see your fight. You can see your train. You can see different different aspects of it all. So it's, uh, it's a lot different preparing for fights than it was when I first started because it wasn't around then. Right. So it's... It's nice because you get to see that, but, you know, she's also got footage on me. So I got to watch where my weaknesses are and where she can capitalize on me as well as the opposite right. way around so that, so that I can dominate in this fight and I can win this fight. Can you sort of encapsulate the kind of fighter she is, what her strengths are? You know, she's, uh, she's more of a kickboxing style, uh, striking background. So, so I feel like I can hang with her on the feet, but if, but... Obviously, my strengths are on the ground, so right. you know that's that's where the fight will probably end up. All my other fights have ended up on the ground. I don't see this fight going any different. So, um, you train here in Kelowna. What is it? What does your training often involve? 
Um, you know, uh, we train pretty hard. We spar a lot. We live, live wrestle, live move a lot. So it's, it's, we do a lot of technique, but we do a lot of live stuff. So I feel really comfortable when, when we're going hard. So getting into a fight is just like another day in the gym, except it's only three rounds instead of five rounds and then training afterwards. So it's, yeah. So when I was talking to you before about, you know, why you had taken the absence, part of it had to do with finances. You'd think you'd make yeah. more money fighting, but do they pay you guys <laughs> enough to do this? Um, you know, uh, when when you take two years off, you obviously don't make any money when you're not fighting, so that that's hard. But um, I also work at Canon Post. I'm, I deliver mail. I take time off when I'm, when I'm in fight camp, so I haven't actually worked in almost a year now I guess coming up because I was in fight camp and then I got this fight lined up almost right afterwards so I've been just trying to focus on that and trying to save my money but it's it's hard because there's taxes and everything too. Right but um, you're so you're able to to train every day right now in preparation for this fight? Yeah yeah I'm hoping to get some more sponsors and stuff so that I can train more easily without worrying so much about the finances. And if you get another win, that that probably bump you up the rankings. And then does the money start to get better? If you, um, you know, I signed a contract, so every time I win, I get more money. So, yeah, I just gotta keep winning. Keep winning. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you on February yeah. the 18th. Thank you, Sarah Morris, Kelowna's MMA fighter, in action on February the 18th for Kelowna. Now, I'm Kent Mulgat.